Hey guys, it's Liz, your official craft nerd. Hello, like the first time you guys are probably seeing my face, maybe some of you are seeing my face. Uh, I don't typically jump in front of the camera, um, just personal preference, um, but I'm trying to do a little better. And I figured this video is a little different because I'm actually gonna do a haul video. Now I know not everybody's into that and that's completely fine, I, I totally understand. However, I get really, really excited when I find some really cool finds, whether I'm thrifting or if it's Dollar Tree or, you know, Michael's or whatever the situation, like wherever I'm at. If I find something cool, I want to share it with you guys. So I am going to throw this video together because I just got back from vacation and I have a ton of stuff and I want to kind of get through it as quickly as I can, but I really want to share this because... First of all, I need to clean this space. I mean, it is a hot mess right now. So in order for me to do so, I need to share all this stuff so I can put it away. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So uh, first I'm just, go I, of course, I wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers uh, for all of my friends, all of my nerdy family that comes back week after week and enjoys what I'm putting out there and I definitely appreciate and love each and every one of you and if you're new to my channel or recently new to my channel uh, thank you for stopping by and I really do hope that you stick around um, I do a lot of um, Dollar Tree DIYs but you know a lot of thrift flips uh, just whatever you know kind of sparks my interest you know it doesn't matter how I make it but uh, and my aesthetic really right now is more towards the shabby chic, vintage style. Um, so I really hope that, you know, you guys stick around and see what I do. And there's always something new to come. So enough about that, y'all. Like, this is really hard for me. Really, really hard for me to stare at myself in the camera. So we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. I'm going to start with Dollar Tree just because I have so much of it. And... And uh, you guys would probably have more ch chances of finding these things uh, maybe in your stores. Now, like I said, I just came back from vacation. So I was able to visit some stores in different states and see if they had anything new. Uh, I will say that I wasn't as um, excited. I did find a few things, you know, some really cool things. However, it was more this my favorite store back home i i went there immediately after getting home and um i found a ton of stuff so let me just kind of jump right into it i did kind of categorize it a little bit trying to make this a little bit easier uh on myself so um yeah let me just let me just jump right in so getting into let's start with stationery I am kind of obsessed right now because it is, of course, school season is getting back in. So they have all their school supplies, things of that nature out. And I always love to see what kind of notebooks and things like that that they have. Um, now, my daughter comes with me and I let her just get whatever she wants for her own crafting purposes. She does a lot of, um, like, I don't want to say junk journaling, but she does a lot of uh, media journaling and um, she likes to, you know, do mixed media and stuff like that. So I let her get whatever she wants for those projects. And then I find things that I think are cute and I, you know, I get them. So, uh, I'm going to start with this smelly pen. It's like a scent. It's called Cinecorns, but I thought it was cute. And it's one of those, you know, old skis. If you remember these pens back in the day when you can change all the different colors, but it had that and apparently it smells. So I bought her that you now whether or not she loves it, hates it, who, who knows. She found these jumbo pencils and thought they were really funny. <laughs> so she wanted the pencils. And then I always pick up these pens. I feel like they write so, so well. And I'm kind of um, obsessed with how just I love the way a nice gel pen just writes on paper. I'm old school that way. And I kind of, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of obsessed with paper. And so, you know, whatever. Anyway, I have shipping labels and foam mounting dots. I don't know where these came from. I'm assuming my daughter threw them in the cart, which I can almost guarantee she did. So 
I was like, all right, well, I'll throw them in there too. Now the notebooks. I have seen quite a few different people haul these notebooks and I thought I had to share it because they're so cute. So this is actually a planner. It's a student planner, but you know, whatever, I will still use it. And it just says so much to do. And it is for this year and next year, of course. And it's just, it's really cute and colorful. And I can definitely always use a new planner. Uh, and then I found some notebooks. So I loved the print for this one. They also had this, which of course, everybody loves the bees right now. And the black and gold I thought was beautiful. So of course I had to pick those up. Uh, and then I had this one as well, and I just loved, you know, and the, the paper and everything, it, they're lined, um, you know, they have like little, maybe stars or doodles or something in there, super, super cute. Um, they do have a doodle journal, which I thought these little panda uh, donuts were super cute, and again, it's like, it's a journal, but it's got pictures and stuff in there too, so uh, super fun. And this, I just, this is very simple. It's just a notes, um, you know, kind of journal. It has your date and everything. But I just, I love these. They're great for keeping track of, you know, your passwords or your logins or things for work or whatever. Um, but it's nice and big and, you know, easy to write in. Absolutely loved it. Uh, and then I found this one as well. Uh, this actually has the little band on it. And... This is just a sketch journal. So um, they're all blank pages. Definitely super cute. I loved the floral on it. So of course I had to grab that. And I'm pretty sure anytime I am going into Dollar Tree, the first thing I do is check out their notebooks and their paper and all of that because they, they have really good journals. And these were a couple that I picked up as well. Now, these are just, you know, your composition books, but they, they're just, they're really sturdy. They're very heavy duty, very simple. And I, I just, I, I love these. I don't know what else to say. I stock up on these. I use them all the time to write down my notes for um, videos and projects and things that I'm doing. So definitely keep an eye out on their stationery section. They have great stuff there. Um, also in the school stationery section, they have these really adorable boxes. Uh, these are pencil, well, I guess they're storage containers, but you know, they can use them for their pencils or crayons and they have a little lock on the side and you just kind of flip them open and simple as that. I bought a few of these because I feel like these are gonna be good for the little little things that I keep around my craft station, you know, um, that really don't have a home. And this is a great way to just organize, uh, any of those things. So I loved those. Uh, let's see. So kind of, well, I guess not stationary section, but I did pick up a bunch of like, my daughter likes the word finds and I do like crosswords every now and then. Cause you know, sometimes it's really good to unplug from your phone, from your iPad, from your internet, from your Netflix, whatever it is, and do something that just, you know, makes your, makes your brain think and, you know, that stuff. So, uh, okay, so let's kind of transition into crafting. Um, most of you know, if you don't already, I love stickers. Uh, I love the Dollar Tree stickers. I get very excited when they have something new. Um, and I don't think I had these already, but I found these rub-on transfers, which stickers, rub-on transfers, you know, but I loved the way that the number fonts were. And I just feel like there's so many fun things you could do with those. Uh, and then I did pick up some of these as well. And these are just kind of like, you know, I don't think I've seen these ones yet, but, um, just, you know, little lovey-dovey sayings and stuff. You can definitely make some really cute little signs with these. Now, they do them in gold. I really kind of wish they would just do them in black or 
maybe gray or you know something not always metallic-y and stuff but you hear me Dollar Tree <laughs> uh, then stickers I did get some stickers I found these really cute little um, floral stickers they're somewhat of a 3d but not too much um, even though I have collected them in the past I'm not super big on the big 3d stickers um, just because I like things to kind of be cohesive with my projects and these are just a lot easier to use uh, and then these were pretty neat too and I think I just liked them because they have like that wood grain but these were just like some little stickers too but all of these are really fun to use if you're into um, scrapbooking or journaling or junk journaling or whatever you know they're just they're a great thing to have on hand. So, um, also in the craft section, my daughter picked this up mainly because she wants to practice with cross stitching, but she's like, do I have to put what they have in there? Can I just make it up? And I said, no, do whatever you want. I mean, that's the whole fun about being creative, right? Like you just make it your own thing. So she got this as well. And they had, I don't know if any of you guys have seen them. In the past, I've hauled their tie-dye uh, kits. They have a lot of different colors uh, for tie-dyes. I have yet to try them out. Um, it's on my bucket list of things I gotta do. But I finally found some of their blank totes. And they do market these for the purpose of, you know, tie-dyeing and stuff like that. So I thought these would be really cute. Um, and these are just real small you know, simple totes, you know, if you got like a young girl or, you know, young boy, whatever, that are, you know, want to put their toys in or put their little books, whatever. Very cute, very simple idea. I also thought of just using them for the fabric because I like just this plain, you know, kind of off-white fabric, linen fabric, and I'll tear that up and use that for, you know, messy bows and things like that all day long so um, those are pretty cool they also had um, I finally found these and I know you guys have probably seen other crafters haul these but these are the burlap uh, uh, roses yeah so these are just like fabric roses burlap fabric roses I found them in pink or I guess like a rose rose color rose color rose duh whatever you know what I'm saying pink and then just the regular burlap with what I do I figure they'll come into you know play quite often so oh, this hair is bothering me and then I also found some chalkboard paint I don't know if you guys have seen this in your stores this was kind of a lucky find I wasn't sure what it was at first and then I grabbed it and I was like oh okay and I do have some of this already. And actually, this is made by Plaid. So I have high expectations because I do love Plaid products. And I mean, most of you know as well. And I keep saying that like, like y'all just know me. <laughs> I mean, blah. but I am a Plaid affiliate. So I definitely love working with their products and sharing their things. So I'm going to give this a try and see how well that works. Um, just some normal, I get some painter's tape every time I'm there. I do use that quite a bit. And, um, they also had, well, I only found one of these galvanized metal tags. So of course I grabbed that. Uh, then they had numbers as well. I did get a couple of the numbers and these are tiny but they have letters too. So these are little itty bitty and I think they're super cute, but the problem I'm finding is I can only find one of the first half of the alphabet, but then there's like a ton of the second half. So just be mindful when you do look these, you know, if you're looking for these or you pick these up, that they are only half the alphabet. So if you need all of them. And I always like to buy these in double because there's only one letter. So if you're trying to spell, you know, your name or something and you have more than one letter, obviously the same letter, you're not gonna have enough. So, you know, I, we'll see what I do with them, but I had to have them. 
I have been noticing Dollar Tree has been putting out more of these little mini plaques. So of course I picked up just a couple of that shape. And you know, you guys, these are Dollar Tree wood. So you see it's kind of scuffed and dinged up, but you guys know I like things that are rough looking. So <laughs> it works for me. Um, circle plaque. And then they also had this shape as well. Now, these can make for cute little signs. They can also be good bases for things. I mean, possibilities are kind of endless on those. Um, I know you guys have probably seen these. These are, I'm pretty sure these are apples, okay? But when I looked at them, I said, no, I'm gonna make them pumpkins because y'all know what's coming. We've got fall, we've got Halloween, and I'm slightly obsessed with Halloween, so. This should be fun this year, really doing more vintage and kind of a shabby chic flair on Halloween and fall. So I thought these would make perfect pumpkins. We'll definitely give them a shot and see. Uh, I found one of these little signs and I thought these were kind of cute, like little steak signs. They do have it smooth on the back and rough on the front, which of course does not bother me, but it, it, you know, you could definitely, I guess, flip it around and do something, but I mean, I just thought they was kind of cool. So, and the only one I found was that one. Uh, I picked up more of these. I do like to grab these when I can. Um, look at that one, that one's all like jagged up. But these are definitely fun to, you know, I, I see like candle holders and things like that. If you have a drill, you can definitely put some holes in there. You can do a little wood, you know, etchings and things like that. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these and I've used them many times in the past. So I always like to have a few on hand just in case uh, I have something that calls for them. Uh, let me do, I think that's pretty much it for crafts uh, other than I did find some of these baskets. I'm not sure why they have a ton of these out right now, uh, but I thought they were pretty. They're a light color, which I definitely, you know, that definitely appeals to me. So I got a couple of these. Not sure what I'm gonna use them for, but you know, got them anyway. Uh, my daughter, another thing she likes to grab is yarn, and they've had a lot of yarn lately. So she just grabbed a couple uh, pink and blue and then she bought the Chanel which is really soft and pretty and even she's got the same mentality as me she's like I don't know what I need this for but I need it <laughs> so that's how we shop you guys uh, glasswares I did find a packet of four of these like tea light candle holders um, which I thought was a great deal because normally they just have one uh, for a buck so if you see them when they have it in multiples, definitely try to do it that way. Uh, I picked up some of the salt and pepper shakers. I know I have these already somewhere. I just can't find them. <laughs> I got so much stuff. But I did pick up another pack. And then they also had a little slightly larger ones that were sold individual um, that I really like. So I did pick up two of them. Now these are great for different little crafty projects. Um, I've used them for flowers and different types of things, but I know if, a lot, if, if you guys have TikTok, if you guys have heard about this hack, I know a lot of other people have kind of shared it uh, with the wax melts. And if you put a couple pieces of the wax melt in these little jars, stick them in your car, and throughout the day as the car heats up, obviously it's very warm inside, it will melt, the wax melts, and your car will smell like amazing. I've been doing this probably now for a couple of weeks, and it works. Uh, they do, I feel like it does run out of scent at some point, if that makes sense. Like, it's not as strong, but you can just keep adding in or mixing up the the smells, I guess. So, but it's a, it's a really neat little hack. And being down here in Texas, Y'all know my car gets hot, very hot during the day. So, uh, now these are just kind of some randoms that I found like with housewares and stuff. Um, they had these wall hooks, which I actually thought these were really cute. 
Um, and of course you can definitely, you know, change it up or do something different with it. But I think they're super cute and they're just a little wall hook. They had bless this house and then they also had simply blessed. So I did get a couple of those cause I feel like you could definitely do something where you can just, you know, maybe put them together side by side or make like a big one, which I think I'm kind of aiming to do. Um, but they were really neat. So I got some of those. Uh, the magnets, they have these new magnets and they kind of look like little canvas paintings. Um, but I got that one and that one because who doesn't always need more magnets for their fridge? I mean, I don't know. You guys, I realize a lot of the stuff I don't need, I just want it because at some point my brain tells me I'm going to need it or I'm going to want it. So uh, I did find some hanging lids. I have been wanting to get them and pick them up every time I see them and I always forget so I figured you know with Halloween and stuff coming up with fall especially I figured it would be a good time to finally pick a couple of them up um this is something I've been seeing uh, a lot of other youtubers share and I wanted to give it a try because I wasn't sure how well it works um and it's an ice mold now it's not uh, it's plastic, so it's not, um, you know, a rubber mold, which I was kind of hoping it would be rubber because rubber molds I can do, man, I'm shaking all over, um, rubber molds I can do resin work with, you know, so, but these I wouldn't because they're plastic, but they're pretty large and they are, they're supposed to be spear, spear, yeah, spear, spear, spear. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Round, big old ice cube. So, we'll definitely see how this works. I think it might be fun for, um, you know, the weekends when you're having that refreshing drink or cocktail. Sticking in giant um, ice cubes in there. Have yourself a good old time. Uh, I also randomly found some of these um, little bags. They're little burlap messenger sacks, I guess. And I thought they were cute, but again, not so much for the bag purpose, because to me, this material's rough. I wouldn't want this hanging on my body, you know, and like rubbing up against it. It's, it's burlap, you guys. It's basically a potato sack. You know what I mean? So for me, it was uh, the purpose of just for the material, shred it up, use it for, you know, my projects that I like to do that with. So, uh, and then I haven't picked up a lot of these lately, but I, I really, these caught my eye mainly because of they were white and black, but their decor pieces are actually getting a lot cuter. So these are all laundry room related and I think they're super adorable. And you really don't have to do anything with them. Um, you could, but. So there's that one. There's that. <clears throat> and then there's this one. And I love this one only because <laughs> it's spelling out how to say washing machine. <laughs> So in case you didn't know how to pronounce washing machine, it does tell you. So, and it says an appliance designed to eat socks. So accurate. Anyway, definitely thought those were cute. And like I said, um, you don't have to do anything to them. They're very simple and simplistic and pretty as is so especially if you do a black and white theme in, <clears throat> in your house so y'all my <laughs> please do not mind my voice I have a hard time speaking for long periods of time um, mainly <clears throat> I, I and I really can't explain it other than my vocal cords decide to not want to work right so excuse me 
which is probably another reason why I'm not I'm not a loud talker. I have never been a loud talker. So I definitely always have to bump up <laughs> my volume for you guys because you guys probably wouldn't hear me um, normally. So, but just bear with me. I'm, I don't, don't mean to sound like I have a, thro a frog, frog in my throat. So, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but they did start doing like, like the letter boards. Um, which I've got a ton of letter boards anyway, so I really didn't need it. But I mean, for a buck, you know, it's cute. You could put it in your kid's room or, you know, just have it anywhere. I think I might stick it in our bathroom and just put something funny on there. Who knows? Um, and then this was a first, but I wanted to try out their incense. I always see it. Never grab it. And now I think I'm missing. I think I'm mi missing a box, but I want to say there was five. But they have different aromatherapies, you know, um, different scents. And I haven't probably burned incense since I was in high school. So this should be interesting. But, and honestly, I, I burned it for the smell, not the whatever you know uh for your chakras and all this i i don't know i don't do all that i don't know but i want to see how they smell and then they also had the uh, the ones with the diffusers and eucalyptus i mean you can't go wrong with eucalyptus mainly because a it smells fantastic but it's also a very like it's also a very cleansing type smell so I definitely wanted to try that one um, now I did get some um, makeup and some other little um, personal items actually before I do that because I have so much stuff I'm forgetting that things are behind me um, I did grab the uh, brass wreath rings. I just like the fact that they were already separated. I didn't have to tear them apart off of anything. Um, I really don't think that's brass. It just looks orange to me, but whatever. It'll work. I'll probably end up spray painting it anyway. Um, and then they had these as well, which I thought these were the sage, you know, like the burning the sage things. That's what they look like, but they were wreaths. Now, y'all, you know that their stuff is, <laughs> first of all, this is not a circle. I don't know what shape it is. Um, they're not created equal by no means. So I really feel like you can do something with it as a wreath. You can probably chop, you know, chop it up and do something, you know, whatever with it. But definitely, you know, figured it was worth a shot to try something different you know um I did find some um some fall decor stuff uh, my stores haven't officially started really putting everything out yet but there are some things trickling through um which they have these large tins which I love because they're bigger than what I'm used to with them um but this just says farm fresh pumpkins uh and then this one just <clears throat> excuse me say give thanks and whatever your style is like you know are if you're into farmhouse decor or whatever I feel like these will make really, really cute little accent um, pieces um, I of course grab floral but I grabbed according to what I like what I like to see now they have a ton of a floral, floral, fall floral out right now. So there's lots of oranges and reds and things like that. I'm more muted. So I was drawn to these with these vintage looking blue colors and the white pumpkins. And then these, which I thought were beautiful. And I'm going to go and try to find more of these. I really feel like this is gonna be my feel this year. 
uh, for fall and maybe even into Halloween. I just love these really, really light, uh, airy type colors, if that makes sense. Um, now, as far as decor pumpkins, I don't need any more porcelain pumpkins. I really don't. And Dollar Tree, y'all need to stop bringing out new ones every year. <laughs> I don't need them. I got so many um, that I don't even know what to do with. I just have to pack them up every year. I try to put them all out, but I gotta stop. So this time I only picked up two of these just because I really liked um, that they were white and that they had the little um, holes in there because I'm thinking, I guess not can't really fit a candle in there so they're not meant for that but you stick some little LED lights in there those little fairy lights because there's a hole at the bottom I think that'd be super cute so I grabbed a couple of those um, and then I got this guy he needs dusted off because I don't know what all this white powder is all over it but it's like a little cement pumpkin and I think it's I thought it was cute because it's squashed. It's not your typical pumpkin. I only saw one of these. They're pretty heavy, but I think they're actually kind of cute. So I may get some more of these if I see them. I don't need them, y'all. Just tell me no. Um, my Dollar Tree down here does have Dollar Spot. Uh, dollar Spot? Is that what it's called? No, that's Target. Um, you know what I'm talking about, where they have items that go up over a dollar. They had these little box, you know, planters. They were $5. Now let me tell you what I was thinking with these. Um, they're cute, as is. The greenery, I don't like. It is too bright for my taste. It is like neon green. I don't like it. <laughs> so the greener will probably go because that could be that could be used for something else, whatever. But I looked at these and I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm really weird and maybe you're disturbed by it, but I thought these would look really cool for Halloween, like almost like coffins. You know? Paint it up do some stuff to it now you know the front this is kind of etched in there so you might have to like fill it in with some you know wood filler or whatever but I think these would be like spooky cute little centerpieces for Halloween with like you know making these coffins um, sticking a skeleton in them I don't know I don't know I just I said you know how to get them they were five dollars um, and then they had these. Now these, I really love. Look at, look at those. I mean, it is huge for one. And then it has this adorable little drawer. I mean, so cute. So, of course, I picked up two. I don't know. I was thinking of something, you know, to hang it up on the wall. I think it would make a really cool little wall piece. Uh, so I'm going to do something with this, with these. But these were $5 too. So this was the first time I've seen something like that. And I loved them. Um, okay, I'm trying to, I know this is going to be long, you guys, and I'm so sorry. But you guys don't get videos this long for me hardly ever honestly so if you're still here cool if you're fast forwarding through it just to look at stuff I get it I do the same thing so um t-shirts they have a lot of t-shirts out and they're Hanes I think they're all Hanes maybe Fruit of the Loom I think most of them have been Hanes um but they have a lot of shirts for kids and adults which is really nice this time of year especially for school starting uh, I like to grab them for either doing projects if I'm making t-shirts for people or we put them in our homeless bags that my daughter and I like to give out uh, to people in the area. So, 
but they have quite a bit. They actually had, um, this one's actually for my daughter because she likes me to make t-shirts uh, for her all the time. Um, but these like baseball jersey type, or not jersey, but baseball tee. Uh, and then they just had uh, just a plain black tee. They had this orange. The red is a long sleeve, and then she has a yellow long sleeve, which she already has on because she loves that color. So, um, there's, oh, let me grab this. They also, I look at the socks now. These I got for a friend of mine, and I'm going to message him and tell them that I got them for him because he loves flamingos. So I'm going to see if he already has them. Uh, and then this, he also likes unicorns. So there's unicorns on this one. Now these are, it says Beverly Hills Polo Club. So I don't know if that's like a good brand sock or not, but I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, and then I found, oh, I missed... You guys, I told you, I try to be organized and I just suck at it, apparently. They had these jars. I just like the shape. So I always like to get these containers because these are actually really good, you know, to put your beads and stuff in, like whatever. And that's probably what I'm going to do with mine. Um, but they're great storage. Great storage. I picked up more of these. They have these all the time. These charger plates. But I have been following a guy, and of course, I'm not going to remember his name right now, on TikTok that does some crazy cool spray paint art with these uh, charger plates. And it's just really, really cool. And I'm going to try it, and I want to see if it works. And if it does, I'm going to show you guys how to do something completely out side of probably like your normal scope but if you like hold on okay I drove by it's the recycling truck it's loud and squeaky so um but if you guys like it and enjoy it then it's something new it's definitely outside of what I normally do but that's okay because I do everything you guys like you know what I'm putting out lately because that's just my my love but I do a lot of stuff so I'm really excited to kind of share that and if I don't stop bumping this thing y'all are gonna be like motion sick from this anyway let me finish up Dollar Tree because it's taking way too long y'all like I said I got a lot of stuff and I had to share it so makeups makeups you hear how I talk um I only typically will buy if they have name brand stuff there because I like the thrill of finding um name brand makeup good quality makeup at Dollar Tree I don't know what it is about it but I think it's just fantastic because I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup and it's very rare that I actually like take the time to do it anymore and that's only because you know since working from home nobody really sees me all that much anymore so but I have to get back into the habit of um, doing more for myself so um, I picked up a few different things uh, let's see. So they had Wet n Wild. <clears throat> this is just a mascara. This is actually an amethyst. So I did not realize that. But I've picked up their different colored mascaras before. Um, and they're okay. Like, they work. My eyes get to be sensitive sometimes. And it, I can't keep it on for very long. I don't know what it is. If it's a different color. So we'll see how this one pans out. But, I mean, it's fun. Um, they also ha let me see if I can just stick with Wet n Wild because I know I have quite a different, quite a different, quite a bit of Wet n Wild stuff that I found. Oh, here's a truck. Hold on. It didn't 
sound so bad today. Normally when our recycle goes by, you hear nothing but the bottles <laughs> just clinking. Not that we, it makes us sound like we drink a lot, but um, it is what it is. Anyway, we've been gone all week, so there really wasn't much to recycle. Anyway, so that was Wet n Wild. Um, mascara then um i got this which is a loose highlighting powder by wet n wild as well i love the shimmer on that i don't know when i'm gonna use it but i thought it was very pretty and they also had a bronzer nope i lied another shimmer palette but this one was super cute too very very pretty um, you know, in case you want to look extra shiny for summer, sparkly. This I got because look how big it is, y'all. Like, I always see the little tiny things, but this was like an actual palette. And I've not seen them do that. So, um, not this big anyway. So, of course, and I, I love the colors. I love the blacks and the dark purples. Oh, that's, that's call them a name y'all um i also picked up this this is liquid it's called mega last liquid cat suit it is a shimmer liquid eyeshadow uh definitely again a color that i like so we're gonna try that out and this is a liquid highlighter called hello halo that i also thought was really pretty so i got a lot of highlighters i didn't realize <laughs> just how many but you know if you like to play around with makeup I guess you can never really have too many you know different um, things like that so uh, they did have some Maybelline products I got uh, one is these are lipsticks one is called metallic white gold and the other is gray over it I don't know but when you look at the colors on the bottom they look like coffee mocha type colors but they're called I don't know they're just it's different so they caught my eye but I said you know what it's Maybelline maybe it's Maybelline we'll see we'll see how it works uh, they also Every now and then I can find some good hard candy stuff. And this is a marbleized baked highlighter, which I thought would be kind of cool. With the, maybe if I actually show you the, the highlighter right there. Um, and then I picked up, cause you can never have too many different chapsticks. Um, this is not from Dollar Tree, hold on. Uh, this is a coconut and hemp oil. Oh, this is hard candy too. I just now noticed it. Uh, coconut and hemp oil nourishing lip crayon. So I wanted to try these just because I like just real simple. If it's not muted, I mean, I either go to the extreme. I like reds and dark colors for lipsticks. But just on a daily basis, I like just simple, light moisturizing type um, lip glosses and things like that. So, uh, and then I also picked up one of their tropical coconut lip balms as well. Um, let's see. So they've also been putting out a lot of their Tony brand 3D lashes. So I did pick up a few cases of those. Um, I have another case over there, but I'm actually wearing them right now, um, which is weird for me, but, and they have a glue as well. They have a Tony brand glue. And so I just thought these were cute. They, they don't look, they have different packaging, but the differences in them are not too much like some you can tell a little bit thicker than others but I don't know they they seem to fit fine they're comfortable um, so I figured why not why not jazz it up a little bit 
Um, I know, I'm, I think I'm missing stuff. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I also got some of this too. This is Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm. So, like I said, you guys, I'm kind of obsessed with the, the lip balms. Um, then I get these for my husband. These are the cooling uh, face and body cleansing wipes with aloe and eucalyptus. And these are really, really nice, especially if, they're, if he's outside working, uh, comes in, he's hot. He takes one of these and just wipes it down. And it's an instant coolness that is just, I like them. I, I keep finding myself jacking them myself, but... Uh, and then I always pick up some of this. I love this toothpaste. We've been using it for a while now. And maybe it's just the metal head in me or whatever, but it's black toothpaste. So I get really excited. Um, but it's, you know, ultra white with charcoal. And I love charcoal products. Um, I definitely see the health benefit to them and I adore them. So then finishing this up, you guys, I'm almost there. I promise you. Scrunchies. If you guys are a 90s kid, 80s kid, I mean, I was born in the 80s, but 90s, y'all, the scrunchie was it. And so, and you guys see, I've got, I've got a lot of hair, which needs a lot of work, but I live on ponytails and scrunchies and stuff. So I really like these. I think these were super pretty. Um, they were very soft. They're nice and big. Um... And I know I can definitely keep them on my wrist like I do with my other hair bands. These are a little bit smaller, but they were just real simple in case you need one type scrunchie. And they were two packs, so uh, definitely love me some scrunchies. Um, and I think... Okay. I picked these up too. If you guys have not had or tried Ellie's Total... Here we go again with the bouncy. If you haven't tried the Ellie's Totally Awesome Cleaners, definitely pick some up. I use them all the time to clean, I mean, just everything from my workstation. You can use it on your, if you use Cricut, um, you can use it on your Cricut mats to help clean the mats and bring the sticky back. Um, there's, it just works for everything. But this was the first time I've seen like bathroom cleaner. And then this is a daily shower cleaner as well. So I wanted to give them a shot in their big bottles. So I can't do no wrong, I guess, with those. And this is also something I'm excited to show my friend, but I can't send him this because I'm keeping it. But look at this uh, wrapping paper. Look how cute that is. I don't know. I got super obsessed. I was like, I just want to do like a whole wall in this flamingo paper. Because I love flamingos too. I think they're so cute. They are smelly animals, but they are beautiful. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. But the final thing that I found that I know is going to be a big deal this year. It already is a big deal. Everybody's already freaking out trying to find them just like they did last year and it's the calendars uh, I got very lucky in finding um, the next year's calendars and I grabbed some so I did grab a couple extra I don't know what my intentions are going to be for them yet I don't typically do like the whole giveaways and things like that but you never know um, but I did want to share these with you. Uh, I think they're, for the most part, they're pretty cool. You can definitely get some DIYs with them. Um, or just use them as a calendar. <laughs> you know, like, there's an idea, crafters. <laughs> uh, I know, we, we, don't, we don't think that way, huh? Um, so the first one they have is the Farmer's Market. And it has all of these, try not to have so much glare, but those different images in there. Um, then they also have, this is the Thankful, Grateful, and Blessed. And they have all of those. Oh, 
My lighting is starting to kill me. In there, they have the Farm Fresh with the truck. And if you guys are obsessed with the truck, they have tons of different truck images in there. But I really like, I think, the bicycle. <laughs> I like the bike more, but that's okay. I think it's really cool. Uh, then they had this, which is similar to something they had last year. These are just like really great little sayings. Um, enjoy the little things. So really nice little motivational sayings, which will make really cute signs for people, especially during these times. Uh, and then the last one they had is just the farmhouse calendar. I think this is probably going to be the most sought after one. Um, I'm dropping them here. But there are the images for that. So if you get lucky enough to find them and you want them, definitely do not pass them up because they will be gone. Uh, and then people are going to go crazy trying to find them. And you can order them online. Uh, Dollar Tree does sell them in bulk if you want like 36 or 42 calendars. Just saying. <laughs> I've never felt the need for that, but there are people that will get them and disperse of them, which is great, and, and I love that. Um, I can't bring myself to pull a trigger on that many calendar. My husband would probably kill me. Um, but anyway, so I had every intention of sharing my thrift stuff as well, because I found a lot of great stuff. But this video is already way too long. So I'm going to break it up and I'll do another video later um, for thrifts and the things that I found. And hopefully that will help inspire you guys to, you know, you may not find the same exact things, of course. That's the way thrifting goes. But it'll definitely maybe spark some um, something to say, hey, you know, I can find something like this, you know, similar to it, whatever, and make it my own. And that's what I love 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 doing that's one of my passions so um but yeah you guys that was it so I if you guys stuck around bless your hearts I mean seriously um I just like I said I get so excited when I have new things and I want to share them and you know I realize this is not everybody's cup of tea to watch hauls but there are people that love them just the way I do and I watch them myself so um I definitely hope this kind of like gives you some ideas of things you can use these things for or if you're just in the market to find these you know different little things Dollar Tree got it so until next time you guys and I guess there will be a next time I guess I will embrace it now next time I may have my roots not looking so blonde here but it's okay it's a new day and like I said I just wanted to kind of test out my lashes and they've been on a good hour or so and they're holding up great so um, yeah except for maybe this one oh well <laughs> okay guys until next time y'all stay safe